Hey everyone, welcome back to Tech Job Guides. Today's video is all about BMS engineer. It is useful for freshers as well as experienced candidate who are holding a degree of electrical engineering or a mechanical engineering. So have you ever wondered about working into building automation and control system? Then this video is for you. We are diving into skills that are needed to become a building management system engineer. Whether you are looking to start your career in this field or level up your expertise, we have have got you covered everything so without wasting much of the time let's get started with the video each of us like to visit the massive malls of our city we zoom around and we see that everything works smoothly lights turn on AC is chill elevator is ready and security locked in guess what it's not a magic, it is a work of a BMS engineer and this could be you in just few months. Today I am giving you an ultimate beginner guide to become a BMS engineer even if you have zero experience. This is going to be a detailed video on BMS engineer and if you want a high paying tech job without coding then Please watch this video till end because we are going to cover almost all the points that are under BMS. Here's the quick checklist on what points will be covered in this video. With what is BMS and what do BMS engineers do? Must have skills, we will cover tech as well as soft skills. Three ways to learn BMS, best online courses, in that we'll cover free as well as paid. Job opportunities where you can get this role to work. Job roles and designations. How freshers can choose the right BMS role for them. And lastly, tips to create a resume for a BMS engineer job. Let's start with what is BMS and what do BMS engineers do. So BMS stands for building management system. Basically, it's the brain of a smart building. It controls lighting, HVAC, that is heating, ventilation and AC, CCTV and security systems, fire alarms and emergency systems. BMS saves energy, reduces the cost, boosts the security and makes the buildings future ready. Let's understand with an example. If you enter in an office, motion sensors turn on the lights, AC adjusts the temperature, ID access granted, CCTVs track the movements, all automated. So who is behind this? It's a BMS engineer. Let's understand what this BMS engineer do. You will work on uh, designing smart systems, installing the devices like sensors, controllers, uh, programming automation, maintaining the systems and troubleshooting failures. So you are basically the IT plus electrician and automation expert of the entire building. You don't need to be a genius to become a BMS engineer. You just need the right skills. So let me break it down and let's move to the next part. Must have skills uh, where we'll discuss on tech as well as the soft skills. Let's discuss the technical skills first. HVAC system, heating, ventilation and AC. Here you should know the PLC and SCADA. These are the softwares for programming and monitoring the automation systems. Electrical basics. Then comes the networking protocol. Yes, networking. You should know how the devices talk to each other. The best examples are Modbus, BACnet and KNX. And lastly, fire and security systems. Here, how fire alarms, smoke detectors, access cards and CCTV works, you should have this knowledge. And don't forget the soft skills along with this. You need communication, problem solving, attention to detail and teamwork. Let's understand all this with an example. Why isn't the AC turning on? Here comes the problem solving. Explain things to the client or the managers. Communication. Spotting the errors before they become a big problem, that is attention to detail. Working with the electricians, IT staffs and the architects, here comes the teamwork. Now let's move on to the next part of the video that is free ways to learn the BMS. No money, no problem. Here's your free roadmap to become a BMS engineer. Step first, learn the basic from the free resources like YouTube, read the blogs and the articles. On YouTube, you can search BMS basics 
HVAC and PLC for beginners. Step 2. Get hands-on experience. Download the free simulation softwares like EasyBMS, KNX Virtual. Try some small projects like a motion sensor light switch. Step 3. Internship or an entry-level job. Apply the roles like BMS technicians or site assistants initially. Learn by doing it even if you get small projects. Here's a mini project idea. Install a smart light at the home that turns off after 5 minutes of no motions. Let's move to the next part of the video. Best online courses. Start the free content first and then go for the paid courses. Here are the best online courses for you. Udemy is good for beginners to learn BMS and HVAC. Coursera is known for the smart buildings and IoT systems. LinkedIn Learning great for networking concepts and youtube as you all know free content for everything if you're finding this useful please subscribe now because this motivates to make more and more videos let's jump to the next part of the video where you can work and where you'll get this kind of opportunities bms engineers are high in demand and globally this company is higher for pressure all the time johnson's control Siemens, Honeywell, Skyder Electrics, Carrier, Tata Projects, LNT, Train Technologies, ABB, Startups and many more. You can apply in all these companies first by applying on the company website. Next, go to LinkedIn, type BMS Freshers, filter by location and apply every day. And third is uh, keep your resume updated on the job portals. Let's move to the most important part of this video. The different roles and designations in BMS. Skills required for each role and the real world examples. By end of this video, you will know exactly which BMS role suits you the best. BMS engineering has multiple career paths. You can choose a role based on your skill and interest. Let's break it down. Let's go through the designations first. You can become a design engineer, hardware engineer, operation and maintenance engineer, IO summary engineer, BMS sales engineer, installation engineer, commissioning engineer, BMS and automation engineer. Let's go through all these designations one by one and understand what are the roles and responsibilities with the real world example. First is BMS Design Engineer. Your responsibilities here would be to create a BMS layout and wiring diagrams, design the HVAC, electricals and automation system. Use the softwares like AutoCAD, Revit and Visio. Work closely with the architects and the project managers. Let's understand with an example. Imagine an office building is under construction. A design engineers create the BMS blueprints, deciding where the sense sensors, controllers and the devices should be installed. In designing, you can also become a fire alarm design engineer which includes safety and compliance. Your responsibilities here would be design the fire detection and alarm systems. Ensure the compliance with NFPA, BS and IS standards. Work with the fire sensors, smoke detectors and the suppression systems. Coordinate with the fire department and the safety teams. Let's understand with the simple example. A hotel installs an intelligent fire alarm system that triggers the sprinklers and unlock the emergency exit. A fire alarm design engineer ensures everything works seamlessly. Let's go to the another designation that is hardware engineer. Here you will be working on BMS panels and wiring. Your responsibilities select and configure the controllers, sensors and the meters. Design BMS control panels and cabinets. Test the hardware compatibility with softwares. Work on power supply, circuit protection and network design. Here's an example. A small mall wants to automate its lighting and AC. The hardware engineer selects the right controller and wiring to connect them to a BMS system. Let's move on to the another designation that is operations and maintenance engineer. Your responsibilities would be to monitor and maintain the BMS systems in 
working buildings, troubleshooting the HVAC, lightings and security failures. Optimize the energy efficiency and system performance. Let's understand with an example. An operations manager detects that the building's AC is consuming too much power. So the engineer's job would be to improve the efficiency and reduce the cost. Next comes the IO summary engineer. Here you will be working on signal mapping and the system setup. Your responsibilities here would be to create an IO summary that is input output device mapping. Define sensors and actuator connections. Ensures the correct wiring and the signal processing works closely with the design and commissioning engineers. Let's understand with a real world example. A skyscraper has hundreds of sensors for temperature, smoke and occupancy. The IO summary engineer maps the sensors correctly for the smooth operation. Next is the BMS sales engineer. Your job would be selling the BMS solutions. Responsibilities are identify the client's need and suggest the BMS solutions. Work with the design and the hardware engineer for proposals. Prepare the quotations and pricing strategies. Conduct the product demonstrations. Example will be a company wants a smart energy system. A sales engineer presents the BMS solution showing how it saves the power and cost. Next is a project engineer. Your job would be managing the BMS projects. Responsibilities here are plan and supervise the BMS system installations, coordinate with the design, installation and commissioning team, ensure the project meets the deadlines and budgets, handles the client communication and problem solving. For example, a hospital is upgrading the automated lightings and AC controls. The project engineer ensures a smooth installation without disrupting the hotel operation. Let's move on to now installation. Your job is setting up the BMS hardware. Install the BMS controllers, sensors and field devices. Ensure the proper wiring and connectivity. Work with the electricians and technicians. Conduct the hardware testing and verification. Let's understand with the example. A smart office building needs a temperature sensor and a motion detector. The installation engineer installs and wires them accordingly. Last but not the least, that is the commissioning engineer. Your job would be testing and the final setup. Job responsibilities are configure and test the BMS system after installation, program the controllers, SCADA and PLC, ensure the seamless communication between devices, conduct the final performance check before handover. For example, a BMS system is installed in a shopping mall. The commissioning engineer ensures everything functions correctly before the opening day. And last is the BMS automation engineer. Here you will be working on programming and AI integration. Responsibilities would be to develop the automation logic for the smart buildings. Work on PLC, SCADA, IoT and AI based automation. Improve energy efficiency using the AI and the data analytics. Integrate the BMS with the smart devices and the cloud platform. Let's understand with an example. A BMS automation engineer develops an AI based AC control system that adjusts the cooling based on the room occupancy and saving energy. Now let's move on to how freshers can choose the right BMS role. As a beginner, here's how you can choose the right role in BMS engineering. If you like designing and drawing, then become a BMS design engineer. If you enjoy working with hardware, then choose the hardware installation engineer. If you are good at troubleshooting, try operations and maintenance engineer. If you love programming, become an automation engineer. If you are strong in communication skills, then go for a BMS sales engineer. If you're finding this information useful, then please subscribe for more beginner friendly career tips 
and don't forget to comment your favorite PMS role below. Now let's move to the last part of the video that is how to create a resume for a BMS engineer job. Your resume is your first impression. So kindly follow this step for a standout BMS resume. If you want to get hired faster. Highlight the technical skills, HVAC, SCADA, PLC, networking, Modbus. Add keywords like BMS engineer, building automation and HVAC controls, smart buildings, automation, sensors, controllers. If you want, you can list any home project also, like a smart lighting is a great example. Showcase your project, any internship or a BMS related coursework. Use the action words like developed, implemented, optimized, installed, programmed, designed to get noticed by the recruiters. Now you know everything about becoming a BMS engineer. So it's a high paying, future proof career. You can start learning for free. Job opportunities are available worldwide. Share this video with the friends who are starting their career journey. If you found this useful, like the video, subscribe for more career guides and turn on the notifications so you never miss on any update.